Brunei Couture started because we find that we have the nature here. It's available, God's gift. What we wanted to do is to, to bring in people from overseas to enjoy the beauty, to take care of it, to enjoy it, to learn uh, about the places they are visiting, okay, and also to provide job opportunities. Guests come from all over the world. They're not only enjoying the wildlife, they're enjoying the tours, they're enjoying the food, but they also learn at the same time. So that is for me what I like uh, about ecotourism. If you do not take care of the environment, then you will lose the attraction, you will lose the jungle, the wildlife. Okay, if you really do it for the good of the futures, that's what the meanings of sustainable for me. The goals that are set up by the UN actually, the 17, uh, so we use that as a base. Okay, for we can't come up with this thing, but at least we have the 17 sustainabilities, it's up on the board. So we try and break it down and see which out of the 17 can be practiced in Kota Kinabalu, Sandakan, and Sukau. We try to be one of the best uh, ecotourism practitioners where we're using uh, recycled woods and then we're using electric motors, uh, post stroke engines, we're using recycled wheels. And from there, we will try to train the staff about a certain aspect of uh, the sustainability and then from there it goes on to the guests. As a guide, actually we spend more time together with the tourists. So what we do is, first day we let them see this a wildlife, the proboscis, the macaques, part that we try to make the tourists understand. If we don't do this, what happens to the wildlife? If we don't pick up the rubbish on the, on the river, what happens to the wildlife? So the first uh, education they get is from their guides that come in from Sandakan. Number two is their in-house naturalist that we have around here, where the in-house naturalist also will give talks. Also do sustainability by pick up the, the plastic bottles that we saw at the riverbank. We cannot force people to do it, so we will be the role models. If the tourists want to join, they may join for that. Yeah, and we also try to do it in front of the fishermen, so at least they get the awareness. So you do it by action, not doing by say on. The 17 goals are there as a guideline to make sure that we can follow it and make sure that the environment, the wildlife stays there forever. A portion of our Gas fees is used to build projects or to maintain uh, sustainability around the area in the region. There are lots of conservation efforts, conservation tools, but except keeping land or buying habitat, it's one of the best because it's really stayed there. We hope that not only Sukau Rainforest Lodge, but other two operators also seeing what we are doing can also take the effort and do the same thing. Uh, so that we can grow the sustainability from just one lodge to all the lodges along the Kinabatangan River.